Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Aries, welcome to December readings. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. This is a general reading. And thank you for all of you who do in tune with these energies. For those of you who did request this reading to be the first one in this series of December. And for those of you who are wondering what is in for everyone this month. Let's see, loves, general energies for all Aries. My highly resonate with you this reading, maybe here and there a message. But now, if you are coming in here by the title or just feel curious, you do have a message. And speaking of, we are in a fire sign zodiac, your fellow fiery Sagis. We also have Jupiter quite strongly in the house. And Jupiter very strongly speaks of expansion, movement. A lot of movement is happening. And not only for you, but for everyone. So be mindful, loves. What do you do this month? How the things can go? Because certain things here might go quite a little over the border. If you try to keep balance into your life, whatever that is... You know, whatever what you eat, whatever what you spend, this month might be a little cocky there or might be a little, you know, let's say stingy and you might feel like it's very hard to keep the balance. Indeed here, that's the Jupiter energy. So anyway, try to, to stick with your own rules and your own things. Also, we do have a full moon in Gemini. Gemini, it's all our choices, partnerships, as well with whoever we share certain things, because sometimes it's worth to share certain things, sometimes might not be as much. Also, we have Mercury retrograde enters at the end of the month on the 29th. It's stationed very, very few days, just three days in this month, but yeah, the revelation is quite big at the end. So whatever plans you have by the end of the year might be a little, a little delayed or certain delays might come into. So plan accordingly, loves. So let's see here, Aries, what do we have for the month that's coming in? What are you are dealing, who you are dealing and what else spirit wants to deliver? We have a 10 of swords, two of cups, six of cups and the magician. So certain things here, indeed, that you, you try to let go. But I see you in a very delicate situation between whatever it's new, between whatever was. And it's that hardship, like, I, I want everything to be okay, but I can't. So Or feels very hard to put that to be okay. Whatever that you feel, it's okay, but... You are the magician loves. You can do it. Because magician, you know, by itself, has all the tools in their own hands. The first card we have, the sun. Chariot. High priestess. And queen of cups. Goodness, how many major arcanas we have here. So, whatever here happens, loves, I feel here that... It's really divinely orchestrated. It's really divinely sent to you. Very strongly speaks of be mindful what you allow. Follow your intuition and know there is new and movement forward. Sun, Leo energy, chariot, Cancerian, Piscean energy. For some of you, my deal here with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For some of you, you do have water in the chart but really really speaks of there is a big renewal for many areas in this month and probably for some of you there is a new beginning somewhere else you could move to a new place you could leave a situation it's kind of like you needed this you follow this and your intuition speaks of allow these things allow these blessings to come into your life but let's see here with the Ten of Swords clarifier. Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. It's like your heart chakra for some of you, Aries, needs to be opened up. So heal 
the heart chakra the allowing energy because for some of you you might not even speak with others there is someone here who really probably needs to speak about certain things but they're holding it and queen of swords and queen of cups is kind of mentally you know you need to f to let it go and to allow the new things so you know the things whatever they are out there and whatever how you can express to coming in because look at this jupiter energy there is movement forward and now is the time this is the divine timing many of you ask me well when you speak about the divine time when is that well the divine time is at the moment and for the fact that we have the sun really speaks of now is the time the daytime the time is now today is the time and for for some of you 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 might need to change your car or buy a new car like something here speaks of this one will never ever be repaired or will never ever be okay for you so make that gift for you as a christmas gift give yourself that ability to get it for for some of you definitely there is something new coming in and you just kind of like i'm not sure if that will work well three of pentacles very strongly speaks of the effort will be required that things can move forward beautifully and yes could work the six of cups seven of wands there's certain things here from the past that really need to purge yet i feel here you still have a struggle somehow with the seven of wands and five of pentacles because really give you a, a big thing here for many many areas yes this month you might meet the one but it's there are certain things here from the past that really kind of drag you down you know we can't change the past but we can learn from it beautifully the queen of cups clarifies we have ten of cups because I feel here for some of you, you will gain more. You will reach out for more. Just allowing certain things to come into your life. Because you are quite intuitive this month. But yes, I feel here there is the struggle of allowing or letting go certain things from your life. Or letting in others. On the other hand here, I feel here mentally and emotionally for many of you, you do know what you need to do. Following your intuition, you are going to move beautifully forward. But I feel here there is a Aries that probably the past six months or the past even five years felt in a constant, you know, resistance of something. Let go. Sometimes leaving our burden behind or cutting our losses actually comes a blooming feel to us leaving that you know feels like we're losing like why i need to lose this why i need to let go this that i work hard but does that make you happy it's like someone here one time says well i i put a lot of money in this house and i want to live in this house but this person is in this house well you anyway you're not happy in this house a lot of people get so much attached to certain material things that neither makes them happy. And after the person moved to a whole new place, she was feeling like, well, this is it. I feel so much better. And I feel in many levels much better. Even though I didn't put too much effort in having this place. Because sometimes certain things carry certain energies and all the things carry energy. And sometimes we attach to certain things believing that is what I need to be. But sometimes whatever you invested run its course and we need to move forward. So that's what I'm feeling here for, for some of you. And Seven of Swords, yes, probably certain things here you want it different way because i deserve better i deserve this but you know putting ourselves for something that 
feel like you fight and it's not fair, you know, the wheel will turn and will make the things as they need to. The Aries, let's see, a best advice for many of you. The first card we have, Queen of Wands, Hangman, the Emperor, and the tower and underneath we have page of cups give yourself a chance look at this again major arcana whatever you are going through loves you do know that now is the time for you to take care of you the only queen is missing it's queen of pentacles and for some of you you could deal here with a with a, um, an earth sign doesn't necessary to deal with that kind of person but very strongly speaks the queen of pentacles that now is the time to t take care of your needs it's all about you put yourself first and not others because once you do that all the the craziness all the things here that felt not moving will move it's kind of in an instant a lot of things start moving and very strongly your major arcana came and very strongly speaks of it's up to you it's up to you how you proceed forward and the tower it's kind of like clearing out a lot of things out there for, for those of you yes you've sacrificed for certain things but now it's kind of like really let's move on this is it and yeah four of cups allowing the new energy and not sticking with the past celebrating the new energy bringing the new energy going away from whatever doesn't fulfill you change the things whatever were not being good to you and this change loves will bring you more success will bring you more growth for some of you walking away doing you take care of you changing certain things in your life might bring you the one because there is coming the one here so the advice is it's okay to let go whatever things here were not serving you or holding you back and over the sudden you'll feel like well this is it watch your words loves definitely watch your words this month with mercury and retrograde at the end i feel like well it's quite heavy and for some of you whatever you say whom you say be mindful what that is and the lion spirit be generous of spirit very strongly speaks here your your goodness your greatness will be served beautifully at the end reclaim your power and you see clearly now look at this getting into your power back your power getting your power back and look at this sweet results awaits the be spirit certain things here indeed very much depends on how you do them or how you perceive them so you can have the best out of the best Whew, Aries quite a month for you as well I hope this resonates I hope this really brings you the best insights if does let us know comment below share this video and if you didn't subscribe please do and you'll be notified at very first every single reading every single video i'm posting here thank you for watching see you next time namaste